Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. There was some great news that came out of Plug Power Management today, so that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video here, as well as provide a broader context for what's going on and what's been happening at Plug Power Stock. So I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. Let's start with the great news that came out of Plug Power this morning which was that the company said it expects to generate six billion in revenue in the year 2027 and reiterated its longer term target of 20 billion in revenue by 2030. Plug also forecast revenue of about 1.2 billion for 2023. So all of this was great news for Plug Power stock investors the $20 billion target, the management had been talking about this for some time now, so that's not new. The $1.2 billion target for 2023 is good news. And also the $6 billion in revenue in 2027 comes on the heels of a previous target where management said that they were going to generate $5 billion in revenue by 2026. So certainly top line growth looking strong for Plug Power. Shares of Plug Power stock were up 11.5% in pre-market trading as this news came out. Now, separately, the company did also announce that it's been selected as the preferred supplier of electrolyzers with a partner, Fortescue, for the proposed Gibson Island project in Queensland, Australia. Let me go to the actual press release talking about this deal. So under the, the terms of the Memorandum of Understanding, Plug and Fortescue will work on co-investment opportunities in hydrogen production projects in North America. They'll kind of swap equity where they'll each own a percentage of each other. So Fortescue will take a 40% equity stake in the Plug Hydrogen plant in Texas and Plug will take up to a 25% equity stake in Fortescue's proposed Phoenix hydrogen plant. So this kind of equity sharing deal. It's a way for Plug Power to expand and increase production without needing so much capital, without needing to put so much money down for these investment expansions. And that's really a big deal for Plug Power as I will show you a little bit later on in the video. The company's burning through a lot of cash and so it's got to get creative in how it secures capital to build and expand hydrogen production green hydrogen production also remember this this was from earlier this this news isn't from today but the management said at its investor uh investor day around april the georgia product production facility once it's producing at full capacity that's expected to cut their fuel margin loss by as much as half from the second quarter of 2023 to the fourth quarter of 2023. So by sourcing all hydrogen internally, Plug is expected to achieve up to 100 million of gross margin improvement annually. Now keep this number in mind for when I show you how much money Plug Power is losing on the bottom line. And we can kind of put this into context what 100 million in savings will mean for plug power stock investors so looking at the company going back a few years you could see that revenue has grown from the next from the previous five years revenue has grown from around 200 million all the way up to about 500 million in the most recently completed fiscal year and we already heard from management saying that in 2023 which is not yet completed for plug power they're going to generate 1.2 billion in revenue which would be more than a 100 percent increase from 2022 so like i mentioned revenue growth is not really the problem for plug power demand for green hydrogen is soaring it's just a matter of plug power being able to expand capacity to expand production and do so effectively where it can generate at least improving profitability. Speaking of profitability, this is plug powers operating income over the trailing 12 months and I've gone back five years. And the troubling thing with this is 
as plug power's revenue is growing it's losing more and more money on the bottom line 777 million in operating losses in the most recent trailing 12 month period so it's not like plug power as it's growing revenue is demonstrating economies in scale and it's improving its profitability or at least getting closer to profitability it's actually moving in the opposite direction and remember that figure i highlighted earlier the 100 million in gross profit savings annually well even with that 100 saving 100 million in savings it's going to make a small dent in the 777 million in operating losses so it's going to make an improvement to be sure but it's not a meaningful improvement for plug power's overall profitability on the bottom line it's progress it's good that they're making that progress but they've got to do a lot more to bring this company closer to profitability they can't just keep losing all this money on the bottom line all the way out to infinity they've got to make progress or they're going to lose investor patience and they're going to lose investor confidence which can explain why the stock price is down so much in 2023 even though the stock price is up following the news today that was very good news that lifted the stock price a little bit but it's still down significantly on the year so since it's losing so much money on the bottom line it's important for investors to look at how much cash they have which as of its latest quarterly update they had 579 million in cash on hand which if you compare with the 777 million in operating losses in the trailing 12 months you'll realize that this 579 million is not going to last very long if they keep losing that much money on the bottom line that's why that partnership agreement with Fortescue was so important for Plug Power because it helps them expand production, expand manufacturing of green energy and do so while not having to perhaps potentially not put so much cash out of pocket and swap equity instead. So when companies like Plug Power are losing so much money on the bottom line, they are typically diluting shareholders. They're asking shareholders to give them more money so that they can continue investing in growth opportunities. And that's what's been happening with Plug Power. You'll notice the average diluted shares outstanding have grown from less than 200 million, let's say around 100 million in 2014, all the way up to 598 million almost six times that share count from 2014 in its most recent update so they've 6 x their number of shares outstanding and why that's bad news for investors is because if or when they eventually reach profitability earnings per share is going to be lower because those earnings are going to be split among more shares six times more shares and so this is unlikely to be ending right i've showed you how much money they're losing on the bottom line i've showed you how little cash they have as re relative to how much cash they're losing on the bottom line and so they're probably going to have to dilute shareholders even more until they reach profitability especially with their ambitious growth forecasts trying to hit you know 20 billion in revenue by 2030 they didn't mention anything about profitability in those forecasts so they've kind of taken this approach of let's grow as quickly as possible let's worry about profitability later once we reach this large scale then we'll be profitable because we'll have large economies of scale at that point and we can achieve profitability at that point but it's going to take a lot of money to get to that point or alternative agreements like these equity swaps and other opportunities to expand production without necessarily putting out more capital which has its pros and cons as well if you're giving up equity in each production facility then the upside is decreasing as well regardless it's going to be difficult for plug power to tap that massive opportunity it has ahead and that's undeniable right plug power has a massive opportunity ahead demand for its green energy is soaring 
The difficulty is being able to serve that market effectively and profitably. That's not an easy thing to do. And investors are slowly realizing this. What I have here is a chart of plug powers forward price to sales ratio, and it's been falling consistently. It used to trade at a peak price to sales forward ratio over 45. Now that's down to just 2.2 from over 45 to 2.2. And this, in my opinion, is investors realizing that, you know what, this company might have excellent prospects ahead in terms of revenue, but the profit prospects are becoming more and more questionable. And so investors are saying we're willing to pay a lower valuation because we're not as optimistic about profitability for this company anymore. So looking at this bigger picture, you can understand why today's news coming out of Plug Power was so great and it was such needed news for Plug Power stock investors because so much of the company's struggles of late have brought down the stock price. And so they, investors really needed something to boost morale, to boost optimism. And today's news was really, really positive. And that's great news for Plug Power stock investors. But before I let you go, if you've gained any value from this video, which you probably have if you've made it this far, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. It'll help support more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching.